This was my hard hat. And when I was at Ground Zero, I had to wear my hard hat. Chaplain Mindy Russell's World Trade Center collection. Um, Bush came to Ground Zero. From her and 16 so days really, at Ground really Zero. Cool. To be given these by an officer or a firefighter is treasures. It doesn't seem that long ago. Russell just happened to be on the National Transportation Safety Board Red Cross oh, volunteer so list that out. September of 2001 and got the call to serve first responders in the first hours after the September 11th attack. Things were unimaginable. People saw things that were unimaginable. And you saw those things. Mm -hmm. Russell recalls the dignity of the search and rescue efforts in the dust and debris, carrying away each body found in the rubble in a flag-draped casket. So one time I was asked, just stand here when they bring out another body and pray. Okay. So they would go right to the morgue, but I was standing right there to pray as they took the bodies away. The sight of the crumbled towers is seared into her memory. Those towers, when you walked around Ground Zero, there was not a trace of a office, desk, phone, file cabinet. There was nothing. In the 20 years yeah, since so the we attacks, were, we Russell has also days. seen more loss from her time at Ground Zero, the deaths of many who breathed in the toxic particles. You know, uh, several of my partners have died because of some of the illnesses and cancers they got. Russell has also been diagnosed with COPD and can no longer provide chaplaincy services at wildfires. She is now certified by the World Trade Center Health Program to receive medical help as a responder. When were you certified? Last week. Yeah. So just a week ago, they the certified you as having been there? Yes. Russell has no regrets. She believes responding to 9-11 was her life's calling. I know why I was born. A lot of hugs, a lot of talking. A life that led her to ground zero. In those worst days, Chaplain Mindy Russell provided comfort in the chaos. But somebody asked me, you know, was it worth it? And, and every one of us would say the same thing, absolutely. And I'd do it again, knowing exactly what I'd suffer from.